hello students uh, let us discuss today the last concept of uh, model 2 that is uh, applications to the oscillations of the spring and gelsia circuit here we don't have any notes by using the previous notes we are going to solve these uh, application examples the example is a particle moves along the x axis according to the law d square s upon dt square plus 6 dx upon dt plus 25 x is equal to 0 if the particle is uh, started at x is equal to 0 with an initial velocity you know initial velocity they are telling of 12 feet per second to the left to the left determine x of t you have to find x of t and you consider the given differential equation like this d square plus 6d plus 25 you have taken x of t is common is equal to 0 so it looks like a differential equation of homogeneous here the given conditions are x is equal to 0 when t is equal to 0 okay then dx upon dt is given as 12 feet per second we have to take here 12 12 but we are taking here negative sign because due to the due to the moment of the along the x axis to the left x axis to the left so therefore we are taking with a negative sign okay then let us go for this one uh, this auxiliary the uh, differential equations auxiliary equation is given as m square plus 6m plus 25 is equal to 0 and you know how to find the roots by using calculator you have you get the roots like this minus 3 plus or minus 4i And then complementary functions for this roots is given as x is equal to e raised to minus 3t c1 cos 4t plus c2 sin 4t called as equation 1 then you have to differentiate this with respect to t that means you will get dx upon dt you go for product rule first function as it is differentiation of second function minus plus plus write down the second function as it is second function as it is then differentiation of first function like this you call it as equation number 2 after getting these two equations let us use these conditions these conditions these conditions in equation 192 uh, why we are using these conditions in equation 192 to get the constant c1 and c2 okay as i told in the previous classes also that uh, if you are uh, giving some initial condition so that you have to find the constants so why uh, c1 and c2 so let us calculate using the initial conditions in equation 1 and 2 becomes x is equal to 0 t is equal to 0 this is first initial condition so the initial condition is given like this that is uh, if you substitute x is equal to 0 in equation 1 and t is equal to 0 you will get a c1 is equal to 0 you get and calculate it and get the answer and similarly if you substitute the initial conditions uh, for the next one also that is a dx upon dt at a t also at a t is equal to 0 dx upon dt is equal to minus 12 at a t is equal to 0 use these conditions in equation number 2 then you will get uh, the uh, minus 12 is equal to 4c2 minus c uh, 3c1 substitute c1 value as a 0 as you got in here substitute here therefore you will get sir this is c2 not c3 c2 c2 is equal to minus 3 so substitute this c1 and c2 in equation 1 which is our uh, solution this is equation is one of our uh, solution substitute c1 and c2 then if you substitute c1 and c2 you will get the general solution so so this is the way you can calculate now let us discuss uh, the question paper examples uh, uh, which is the example number 4 i have uh, given in the notes that is um, a dif differential equation of simple pendulum is d square x upon dt square is equal to w square x is equal to f sin nt which is of a non homogeneous differential equation where f and where f and w are the 
constant and they have given the conditions also if at t is equal to 0 x is equal to 0 dx upon dt is equal to 0 that means the conditions are if x is equal to 0 uh, then t, t, um, if t is equal to 0 x is equal to 0 and uh, if t is equal to 0 dx upon dt is also equal to 0 these are the conditions given determine the motion when n is equal to w you have to use these conditions while calculating uh, you have to find the motion Similarly, by using this given differential equation can be written as like this. The auxiliary equation of this is given as like this. Then by using calculator, the roots are m is equal to plus or minus iw. I write down the complementary function for this uh, uh, roots, for these roots. So c1 w, uh, c1 cos um, uh, wt plus c2 sin wt. Then after getting complementary function, let us calculate the uh, particular integral you know that particular integral is given as x uh, p is equal to pi of x divided by f of t so similarly of f of phi of x is given as that is f sin n t step and n t divided by d square plus omega square this is d square plus omega square can be written here similarly uh, if n is equal to w the given condition you have to use here x p then instead of this uh, nt you substitute w here divided by cal calculate the complementary function as you know that it is in a trigonometry form replace d square as minus here omega is there so omega square or w square xp is equal to f sine omega uh, wt divided by if you substitute here minus omega square minus omega square plus omega square becomes zero denominator becomes zero as you know that if it is denominator is equal to zero then you have to multiply with here uh, t here it is t is there so therefore you have to multiply with 3 and differentiate the denominator this is a constant differentiation of d square is 2d then again you have to make this one as d as i told you so taking rationalize or multiplying d by uh, d in the numerator and denominator multiply this d here and multiply this d here so it becomes d into sine omega t t t f you take outside then divided by 2d square then again you got d square replace d square as minus omega square once again again you substitute here you will get the similarly and similarly you do have to differentiate the sine omega t l sine w t also so you will get t minus t f cos omega t cos w t divided by 2 w you know that the complete solution is given as x is equal to x c plus x p so substitute here x c plus x t and also after getting this equation you have to differentiate this equation differentiation of this one differentiation of this one differentiation of this one if you differentiate this one you will get equation 2 then are using the conditions x is equal to 0 and x dash is equal to 0 equation 1 becomes okay so substitute here using the conditions all the conditions substitute here x is equal to 0 you will get c1 here and similarly if we substitute uh, again the value of x dash this is x dash x dash is given as again a 0 so again a 0 here x dash is again a 0 dx upon dt that is nothing but x dash only substitute here you will get the value of c2 c2 is given as f, w, f divided by 2 w square substitute these c1 and c2 in equation in equation 1 in equation 1 you will get the general solution or complete solution okay so this completes your model 2 uh, in the next class uh, we will discuss uh, with the new model that is known as partial differential equations uh, thank you